What's going on everybody? Today we're back with some programming and coding tips for first Lego League and just these robots in general. If you have one of these for, for fun, which I think I think that you should. So the first tip has to do with uh, whenever you're starting a mission. And I said this in my three uh, hacks for robot video, uh, but before you do anything, set your speed to like, I don't know, 25 and go backwards for uh, 0.5 seconds, for half a second or maybe a full second. And what that does is it lines your robot up against the wall, so it leaves the wall more perpendicular. I guess the other half of that tip is start your robot against the wall. It knows the wall's never gonna move. It's always there. Let's, like this. So even if you're in a hurry and you don't have the robot perfectly against the wall, it'll back up and then leave base perfectly straight. Tip number two, don't don't try and program more than, I don't know, two blocks at one time. I, I actually tell my kids program one block at a time. And I know that that might seem tedious, but guess what comes with that? Consistency. And if you've watched any of my other recent videos, consistency, that is what you wanna have. So only program one block at a time, run the program, make sure it works. If it doesn't work, change that block out modify it because you're not going to get you're not going to get all of this right the first time it's just not going to happen you can't think through all that and then and then guess what you have no idea where to fix it because you don't know so add a block program it add a block program it run it add another block program it run it add another block program it run it that's how, that's how I suggest you do things. Consistency, it brings consistency. Now with that, you could do something like this. You've run this and you don't wanna keep running this. You just wanna leave the robot where it's at in the middle of the field and you don't wanna like pick your robot up, bring it back home to base every single time. What you can do is just set this off to the side and say, okay, well, I'm gonna run this program and then I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna add a new block. And right now I wanna turn 90 degrees. So now I'm going to turn 90 degrees. I'm going to run that. And then when it's done that, I'm going to take that block and I'm going to put it here. And now I want to go straight again. So now the robot hasn't moved from the field. It's just staying there wherever it stops after you run the program. But you're still adding blocks and programming one block at a time. So that's another option. So add a block, move it to the next row. Maybe you want to go... I don't know, put lights on next time and then run it, make sure it works, put it at the bottom. So you're, you're programming your script here, but you're running it one thing at a time. The last tip has to do with two things at one time, how to do two things at one time. So say maybe you want to drive forward and raise this up at the same time. It's pretty simple and we're going to use a pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty cool code to do it. So let's check it out. So here I have some code with my robot leaving the launch area, backing up against the wall first, leaving the launch area and turning right towards the pull-up bar and the step counter. And it's gonna go down the field that way. And I want it to raise the, the uh, front attachment at the same time. So I am going to come over here and I'm gonna to go to events and I'm going to create an event and I want to pull out a broadcast message one and wait. So I could actually, I could broadcast a new message and I can name this anything that I wanted to. Um, so I, I don't know, let's just call this test. You can call it anything you want to. I'm gonna call mine test. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right beside test, I'm gonna pull out a when I receive message one and then change that message one to test. All right, and we're doing two things at one time, so I need two of these things. And I wanted to drive forward for uh, three seconds. So I'm gonna drive my robot forward 
for three seconds. And I want to raise the attachment for three seconds. So that's in motor C. For three seconds. So now I'm telling the robot to do these two things at the same time as soon as it rece receives the message test. So it's kind of like a signal. The program sends out a signal and whenever it receives the signal, it does that thing. So let's check out what that code actually does and I'll run it right here. So you can see that the robot drove forward and the attachment went up at the same time time and in the events there's two different broadcasts there's just a broadcast and there's a broadcast and wait make sure you use the broadcast and wait because it waits for whatever is uh, over here to be done before it goes on so if i had uh, another uh, movement underneath this and a turn uh, if i just use the regular broadcast it would do all this stuff with this stuff and it would be really funky. So I need to make sure that I use that broadcast and wait. So it waits for everything over here to be done before it goes on in the code. Those are three coding tips to help you out today. Uh, I hope, I hope they help you uh, be more consistent and uh, have more fun learning in First Lego League and in a classroom or wherever you are at. Y'all are awesome. I will see you in the next video.